Crystal? I'm doing good. Nice to see you. Good to be back. I, I don't know whether you folks have ever, I'm going to give you a free commercial, have ever been into the western part of the city where Crystal's store is. But what I found interesting over there, and I wish you'd share some of this with some of these folks, inside your store where they sell all sorts of beautiful crystal and porcelain and so forth, you have a sort of mini museum in one section of the store. Mm -hmm. You have some rather interesting artifacts in there. Tell me about those. Well, we, we have put a little section aside in the, in the shop that has some of my personal collection in it. Uh, uh, some of my own porcelain, some of my own crystal, but uh, uh, one of my favorite pieces in, in, the, in the, the cabinet is the first piece that was ever broken in the shop. Yes, who was the mind. first person to ever break a piece of crystal at Crystal's Crystal Shop? <laughs> it was Crystal. It was nice. It was an, a nice little oh, champagne goblet or whatever it is called, a champagne glass that uh, I had. You know, I, I love going in there and rearranging shelves and doing all the things that, um, that I don't get to do on the road. And uh, I had cleaned the glass so well, I didn't know the, the, the glass cabinet was closed, so I just went to put it on the shelf and just uh, christened the shop. Well, I, I would rather redirect this question at music mementos. You have some of those in there, don't you? Oh, gosh. You know, it's been a while since I've looked at it myself. I have, uh, you probably know more what's in there than, than I do now. I, I have, I, I believe, my left-handed handers award in there. You're what? Left -hand, I'm left-handed. I've gotten that. And what's a left-hander award? Well, it's a pretty award. <laughs> Well, I know, but uh, who gives I it? I think that it, it, you know, it's the Left Handers magazine that um, 
they do polls, you know, of, uh, and I've got This is all news to me. You mean... You didn't know we have an organization. I didn't know that you were organized. All the Southpaws have a magazine? Well, there's a left-handed Henders magazine, yes. And, uh, you know, I know that most of the world out there is right-handed and everything is made for right-handed so people. They... It was very hard for me to peel potatoes. I'll tell you, when I grew up, my mother wouldn't let me peel. Every time I'd start, she would say, let me show you, dear, you know. <laughs> Did she, she try, to change, did she try to change you from left to right hand? No, no, she did not do that because um, I'm glad she didn't because that is not really a wise thing to do. All right, let's get back to this award. Why do you have a left-handers award? What did you do for all the left-handers left of the world? Um, I don't know. Just sang to them? <laughs> I sang and... <laughs> Anything else in there that uh, you can recall? Um, my um, um, award of light... Um, the Celebration of Life Award from Waterford. They, that was the first year they, uh, for people contributing um, to their community uh, on worthy causes and everything, and I've gotten a beautiful award for that. You know, I just have, you know, beautiful things in there that I like, personal things that I like that, um, are you and we change them out, so I'm really not sure what's in there at this are you, uh Are you in your shop a lot? I, I normally go in there, but this this summer I have been so busy. You ever wait on people? Um, if they ask me to help them, I'd help them. <laughs> you ever wrap the wrap the stuff? Yes. Oh, that's fun. At, uh, especially at Christmas time, if I'm in there and they need help, shoot, I'll help. You know, it's just um, you know, it's like if the floor needs scrubbed, I would scrub the floor. That's how I grew up. You know, I didn't. Uh, so you're not afraid to get in there and do a little I'm work? I'm not afraid of, of work, if that's... The, okay, all right. Even though I have long hair, I pin it up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everywhere you go... See, I haven't said a word about your hair tonight, but I'm sure that'll come up. Uh, probably in on the little blue cards. 